Hi, welcome to your CTIPS Knology. In this video, I will show you how to do some DC calculations using the approximate analysis or approximate method to calculate DC calculations on a voltage divider bias NPN BJT amplifier. So the name of this is voltage divider bias. And we will be doing the approximate analysis. Or we call it approximate analysis or approximate method. So in this kind of uh, biasing for NPN transistor, we have a common voltage source, which is the VCC. Let's say this is... Uh, positive 22 volts and then we are connecting here a resistor and another resistor here just the same with what we did in the previous video where we used the same circuit but using the other method which is the exact method so this is the ground and we have another resistor here which is connected also to the ground. So let's call this R1, we call this R2, this is RC, and this is RB. And of course, this is the ground. We have the collector, the base, and the emitter. Now let's say the RC is 10 kilo ohms, and the R1 is 39 kilo ohms. And we have R2 as 3.9 kilo ohms. And RE, I put RB here, this is RE, is equal to 1.5 kilo ohms. All right. Now, to know whether we can use approximate analysis or not in this kind of uh, circuit, we have to check if the uh, product of beta and re is bigger or equal to the uh, 10 times of r2 now the beta let's assume to be 140 so we will multiply 140 by re which is 1.5 kilo ohms that will give us a value of 210 kilo ohms now the question is what is 10 multiplied by R2 which is 3.9 kilo ohms so this will be 39 kilo ohms so is 210 kilo ohms greater than or equal to 39 kilo ohms of course this will be true because uh, 210 is really bigger than 39 so we have satisfied the equation therefore we can use the approximate analysis or approximate method. Now, to do the approximate analysis, we will first calculate the VB. And the formula for that is R2 multiplied to uh, VCC over R1 plus R2. Just the same with the Thevenin voltage what, that we have calculated before. It's like the ETH, if you will remember, or we can also call it VTH. And uh, this will be equal to uh, 3.9 kilo ohms multiply to 22 volts. And then the sum of uh, 39 kilo ohms plus 3.9 kilo ohms. So the VB will be equal to 85.8 kilo ohms volts over.
42.9 kilo ohms. So cancel the kilo ohms and we will get an answer of approximately 2 volts. Okay. And after that, we will be calculating the V, which is equal to VB minus VB. So we will be getting here 2 volts minus 0 0.7 and we'll get an answer of 1.3 volts. 1.3 volts. This is our V. And then after that, we can assume that IC is approximately equal to IE. So if I want to calculate IE, this will be V over RE, we will get an answer of 1.3 volts divided by 1.5 kilo ohms. And our answer here will be uh, 0 0.86667 milliamperes. And that will be our IE, which is also approximately our I. I see. And because of that, if we calculate now the VCC, that will be equal to, or not VCC, VCE, I mean, that will be equal to VCC minus IC multiplied by RC plus RE. And we will get here 22 volts minus the IC of 0. 867 milliamperes multiplied by RC which is 10 kilo ohms plus the RE of 1.5 kilo ohms and we will get an answer of uh, 22 volts minus 0 0.867 multiplied by 11.5 kilo ohms and we will get here 22 volts minus 9.9705 volts so we will get 12.0295 volts for our VC there you go and then after that this is the approximate that we have done Instead of doing beta IB, we did this. IC is approximately equal to IE. So for the DC load line, we will have here the IC saturation, the VCC, along the VCE, and we have the Q point, which will be uh, 0 0.87 milliamperes or milliampere and the VCEQ will be 12.03 volts. This is the VCEQ and this is the ICQ. And of course, this will be our IC on the y-axis and VC. So this is our DC load line. So this is what we will do if we are uh, doing the exact analysis. But uh, later on, if you do the same question with the exact analysis with this one, you do it in exact analysis, you will be getting an ICQ of around uh, 0 0.8463. But for this one, approximate analysis, we had uh, 0 0.87. So 0 0.8463 in exact analysis is very close to 0 0 0.8667. In the case of BCE, the answer here in approximate is 12.03. In the exact analysis, if you do the same uh, problem in exact analysis, it will be 12.27. 
So 12.27 and uh, 12.03 is not really that far from each other. So the ICQ and the VCEQ are very close for for that. But uh, let's focus again on voltage divider bias. First of all, you have to check whether the product of beta RE will be greater than the product of 10 R2. If it is bigger than that, then it will be true, satisfied. Then you can use the approximate analysis. And all you have to do is to calculate VB so that you can calculate the VE because we need the value of VB here. And when, after you get the value of VE, then you can divide it by RE so that you will get the IE. And because you got the IE, you will get the IC. This is why we call it approximate analysis. In the previous examples, we have IC uh, equal to beta IB. But here we make it equal to 0 0.87, which is also the IC. And then we go ahead with the VCE using this formula, VCC minus ICRC plus RE. And we got 12.0295. So this will be our ICQ, which is approximately equal to IE and the VCEQ. And this is our DC load line. And our Q point is on the ICQ 0.87 milliamperes and on the VCEQ of 12.03 volts. So that's it for the uh, voltage divider bias. So again, for the voltage divider bias, we have two methods or two ways to analyze the circuit. The first one was using the exact method. If you haven't uh, watched that video, you can do so by clicking on the video for exact analysis. And this time, what we had is the approximate analysis. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and uh, you will subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.